Hola y muy buenas tardes a todos. Espero que se encuentren bien y que les ha ido muy bien en la primera semana de clases. Um, mi nombre es Ben, otra vez, entonces yo um, voy a estar trabajando con ustedes um, durante este semestre. Um, Disculpen la tardanza, que sé que este video es un poco tarde, que esta semana para mí ha sido <risa> muy diferente. Entonces hay muchos cambios en, tanto en las políticas del curso como en los métodos de la, de la docencia, de, le, de la enseñanza. Entonces um, disculpen, pero este, quería hacer un breve video solo como introducción al curso. Um, y si tienen preguntas, por favor no duden en escribirme. Um, es un poco mejor este, escribirme por correo electrónico que por Carmen, uh, solo porque a veces no me llega el aviso que, de un mensaje de Carmen. Um, pero que sepan que yo siempre estoy aquí um, para ayudarlos. Um, esta es también mi primera experiencia con un curso en línea. Entonces, um, si alguien um, tiene más experiencia o necesita algo, por favor no dudes en, en hablar conmigo o por correo electrónico o por... Zoom. Entonces, um, ahora voy a cambiar al inglés um, solo para hablar sobre um, las políticas y las expectativas del curso. So, gener generally, when it comes to policy, um, I, I tend to do that more in English just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, so, uh, one thing that I wanted to mention first um, is that because Zoom is pretty new to me, so I didn't realize I had to assign a password. Um, so the password, um, if you want to meet with me at any time, is Dominic, my cat. Actually, he's right there taking a nap. Um, D O M. I-N-I-C is the password if you ever uh, go into that Zoom room. So this is an online course, as we know. Um, and um, that means that it's very self-pacing. Uh, so you can, as long as you're meeting the due dates, you can, go as, you can go as far ahead as you want, or you can take your time. It's completely up to you. Um, And um, actually, for that reason, you're going to notice that starting um, next week, so you probably noticed that I, that I assigned a few um, extra assignments um, because I uh, thought that, so this course is, is new to me as it is to you, so I, I, I didn't even get to meet with the, the individual who designed the course until Thursday. And basically the way she explained it to me and how we'll, what we'll do going forward is that everything in those modules does need to be completed. Um, but um, they, you, only some of them will have a due date, but they are all graded. Uh, so that was something that I, I wasn't familiar with. Um, so I apologize for any confusion uh, this first week. Uh, we're all kind of trying to do our best uh, with this with this new format. Uh, so honestly, the first week, if you get something in late, we're all we have we've all got a lot going on, and I know that. If it's a couple days late the first week, don't worry about it. I, I'll take care of it. It's not going to negatively affect you because um, I I accidentally created a little bit more work for you than is necessary. But yeah, the idea is kind of that the lack of due dates is to help you pace yourself. Um, and uh, 
then but just know that they all do need to be completed and my understanding is that certain elements of the course it won't let you go forward until you've completed certain things and that's also by design to keep us from jumping forward to material that relies on something that we've that we haven't seen yet um, so we're going to be looking mainly at uh, sounds and pronunciation uh, as we know we've got a textbook um, and uh, if anybody uh, doesn't have the textbook yet please let me know um, if you're still waiting on it to get here I'm, I'm happy to get you um, some PDF files to make sure you don't fall behind or anything uh, that's not a problem at all so if you find yourself in that situation um, please don't hesitate to uh, get in touch with me that's that's no big deal um, so technology I I guess like this was one of their first online classes that they designed as a department and like the office of distance learning and everything was involved so it's a pretty solid course um, in terms of its design um, it's actually designed by the author of the book professor Morgan who uh, just retired this year so he both wrote the book and designed the course um, so yeah I would definitely go with these because you all of you probably know more about Carmen than I do um, so we can see here the breakdown uh, so there are uh, as up to 100 um, but there's a lot of different components right so we just want to make sure that uh, we're staying on top of everything um, and then just make sure we're reading and I know this is this is a little bit different uh, with an online class like I said it's my my first time doing an online class so I'm still learning um, kind of how involved I should be especially in a self-pacing course um, so if you ever kind of feel like I'm not there or anything or if you want some extra clarification I would be at, I would be more than happy to meet with you on zoom that's not a problem at all um, so as it was explained to me um, and this is something I'm gonna have to get used to um, for this this semester with all of you um, is that my role really isn't to teach. Uh, my primary role is to provide support and feedback um, because it's essentially the class itself. Uh, everything that we have in Carmen that does the teaching. Um, and um, so if at any point you're looking through the material um, and don't understand it don't feel it's it's getting its point across please know I'm here and that that's not an inconvenience that's my job I, I feel like I'm not doing enough as it is um, with this course um, so if, if you ever have any questions um, please let me know um, I'm more than happy to help out in any way that I can um, but yeah, uh, Professor uh, Campos Asteroica, uh, who is the coordinator, she, she, was, she said the main thing is providing feedback. So I did just kind of want to say, because her example was like, um, oh, like, yeah, your main job is to listen to these recordings and to say, tell them what they need to get better at. And if you know me, which... So a few people do, and I've had a few of you before, some of you don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a particularly critical person. <laughs> I prefer focusing on the things we do well. So just know that, um, that kind of a couple things. First, even if a sound isn't perfect, I can almost guarantee you that a native Spanish speaker is going to understand you in, in, the, uh, um, in the end, that's our main goal is to be able to express ourselves. It's not going to be perfect because it's not our native language and that's okay. So the main goal of this course is just to accept that, that it's not going to be perfect, but
but just to refine it. That's really what we're going for. So just know that if I ever, if if you ever get a comment like, um, yeah, try pronouncing it this way instead of that way or something like that, that's all I'm doing is kind of trying to help you be the best Spanish speaker that you can, because that's what we all want, right? So um, try and take it um, and understand where that's coming from. Um, you can see again, gonna be a, especially with 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 COVID, with um, people not having the book and maybe not being able to get to the bookstore. I don't even know if it's open, to be honest. Um, so this first week, we're going to be pretty lenient. Um, and uh, so if it's a few days late this week, don't worry about it. Um, pretty standard grading scale here. Um, so actually, um, right now, um, or sometime this evening is when I'm going to go in and start going over all, everything that's um, submitting submitted so far. So I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, watching the videos de presentación and getting to know you a little bit. Um, and yeah, I would say four, four days is pretty normal. Um, generally, I, I frequently won't, won't start looking until um, after the due date. And that's just because um, then I'm not having to jump around because it gives it to me in alphabetical order. So it helps me kind of keep track of what I have looked over and what I haven't. But uh, I'm going to start doing that today. Um, and uh, yeah, I, by far the best way to get in touch with me is email. Um, I'm pretty good unless it's like the middle of the night. Um, about getting back the same day for the most part. Um, so, logging in, attendance, and things like that. Obviously, we don't have any physical attendance. Um, one thing I am going to do, uh, especially with this being an online course, is I'm going to create an additional uh, kind of, uh, I'm not a tech person, like a forum within the discussions tab just for us to post questions. So if you have, for example, a question about something that you read in the textbook, um, you can post it there. It's not obligatory. This is just another, an additional support structure. And if someone else really understood it, they can explain it. Or if I see it first, I'll, I'll jump in there. Um, and it's just kind of giving us a little bit of that classroom dynamic um, that we're missing with an online class. Um, so I'll be put. I'll be creating that tonight as well. Um, so that'll be in the. There will be a new discussion tab, just where we can post any questions about material or policy or due dates, anything like that. Because then. The other plus of that is if you have a, have a question, you're probably not the only person. There are probably 10 people who are like, oh, I think I understand this, and then another five who don't at all. Don't at all. And, uh, but they don't want to ask. So you're not, if, by asking, just know that you're not only helping yourself, uh, you're helping your classmates as well because uh, it's not a competition. Like in my ideal world, everybody has fun and everybody gets an A. <laughs> If everybody gets an A, I'm not gonna be mad. Um, so if I can do, so I want to be able to help, and also you help each other, to put you in a position to help one another as well to try to get as close to them as we can. Um, so that's really about it. This is kind of um, SLDS, um, if you've got any, if there is anything with an online course, uh, please feel free to reach out to me on that. Um, and um, that's really about it. So here's kind of a week by week breakdown of what we're going to be looking at. So next week we're going to be looking at syllabification. Um, so. 
Um, looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the main, those are kind of the main points um, that I wanted to uh, address here. Um, and I'm just going to upload this to YouTube, and that's really because we, we've got a, pri a proprietary OSU media system, but from what I understand, it's really glitchy. And so my main, my main goal is just for this to be as accessible as possible to all of us, uh, especially with it being a distance learning class. Uh, so again, welcome everybody to the course. Um, and um, looking forward to working with, with you uh, this semester. And um, just please feel free to contact me if you have any questions, any doubts at all. So have a great rest of your weekend. Que, que, que se la pasen muy bien. Cuídense mucho. Que queremos... Seguir sanos, ¿verdad? Entonces, un gusto, que estén muy bien y hasta pronto.